This interview with Bellator Bantamweight Champion Eduardo Dantas was recorded on April 4th, 2017. Please be patient during the pauses as the translator explains the questions to Dantas and then back again to me. Steve Juan, MMA Mania. All right, go ahead, Steve. All right, Eduardo and Brendan, thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. And my first question for Mr. Dantas is, he was originally set to face Darian Caldwell. How does he feel about the change of opponent to Leandro Higo? front of you in all cases, but it's an interesting situation because Caldwell had basically implied that Dantes didn't want to face him, and here it is, Caldwell is the one who's pulling out of the fight. for his mouth because he talked too much to promote him but I'm here I'm a fighter with my next opponent and the him is outside just watch me fight now back to Leandro Higo this is his Bellator debut coming up here in the title fight against Eduardo Dantes what does he think of fighting somebody brand new in the promotion and he's getting a title fight in his very first fight como é que você se sente com um cara que nunca lutou do Bellator e a primeira vez que vai lutar é, na sua primeira luta? Como é que você se sente a respeito disso? Bom, eu acho que você está aqui mais um dia tarde, muito como você I think Leandro have a, a great skills, but uh, if you have, a, if he just his first fight or if you have a ten fight, for me it doesn't matter. I mean, prepare very hard for the worst guys in the planet to fight with me that day. For me, it doesn't matter who is my next opponent. I'm I'm training really hard to beat anybody. Now, I will say that even though it's his first Bellator fight, he brings a great record in. He's 17-2. and two. He's had experience on the Ultimate Fighter. Obviously, he comes from a great team. So, even though it's a change of opponent, it's, I think Eduardo probably still feels he's a quality opponent. And I want his opinion on Ego's quality overall. He said that they could put an adversary com grande qualidade, é um, um cara que tem um recorde de 17 2 é um cara que vem de um time bom, então se o Bellator conseguir colocar um, um, um grande um oponente para você, você pode saber como é que você vê essas qualidades do Leandro aí? É, In my opinion, Bellator do a great job to put a guy like Leandro Igor. He's a complete fighter. Like you said, he came from a great team. But uh, I think it's not my level. And I prove that in the, the day of my fight, for sure. Well, one thing we have seen in recent fights with Eduardo is people not being on his level. He's been faster than his opponents. He's been more accurate than his opponents. 
what's left to improve upon at this point at the high level he's already at? The truth, I train every day to be better the the last day. And I train every day to be better than my last fight. I think because this every fight I may be better. And then I never me feel comfortable with, with my game. If today I put in my train standing ten one hundred pounds, Tomorrow I try to put another one punch. I always try to be better every day and to be anybody in the world for sure. Now the last two fights, both winning the title and defending the title, went the full five rounds. So we know that Eduardo has the cardio, but is he also in the things that he's looking to be better at every day? Is he also really hungry for a finish in this fight to really go out there and remind people that he can finish fast as well as go the distance. É, ele falou que você nas suas duas últimas lutas, todo mundo vê que você está sempre melhorando. É, você, mas você na luta com Marco Louro, fez cinco rounds, na luta do Eduardo fez cinco rounds. É, o que as pessoas podem esperar agora para você finalizar a luta? Você está vindo preparado para finalizar a luta? on this fight being in Budapest. Uh, how does he feel about the city, the venue, the location for this next fight? What do you think about the city in Budapest now, in the location, in the gymnasium, in some place different from Budapest? I think it's a city in I'm very happy to fight in, in Budapest because of my first fight in Europe and um, I have a lot of fans in, in, in Europe and uh, I'm prepared to fight in any place, anybody, any part of the world but uh, I think in Budapest is with um, a main event I think it's a great for my career, for sure. Yes, it should be a great event for his career and a great event for the fans in Budapest as well. If I can ask a question about his one of his previous opponents, you know, he faced twice Marcos Galvão, and 
Obviously, we saw the results of the fight. He mentioned that, you know, he was careful in that fight with him. Now, it seems like Galvo is out of options at Bantamweight, went up to Featherweight. That didn't work out for him. What what does he think for the future of Galvo? He said that you fought with the Loro, and now the Loro subiu de categoria to the top of the category. He said that he won't be in your path. What do you think of the future of Marco Loro in this category? I think that he's going to I'm very happy because he grew up. Um, you know, uh, we know how hard it for him to cut away. And now I mean, deserve him to be a, he to be, be a champion for sure because now he's not 45 and uh, not my division again. For me, it's a, a, it's a, 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 I, I like him so much, Marco Galvão, because he's trained with him with me for so long years and uh, I did the for him the better way for him for sure well we hope it works out for him in the future but right now we're concentrating on what's going ahead for Dantes in the present and since he mentioned that it used to be a difficult weight cut for Galvo to get down to 135 is it at all difficult for Dantes to make 135 or is he finding it easy or does it get harder as time goes on no, for him, for, for Dudu, it's easy to not cut too much weight. His normal weight is like, uh, 148. For him, it's not too much weight to cut. Just cut 13 pounds is easy for him. And so, it shouldn't be a problem then traveling to Budapest, making weight. Everything should be on point. Yeah, that, that's okay. Mm. He, he, he starts to cut the weight, you know, exactly how to do, how you do. And, for him, it's, it's normal. It's, but when you go to the flight, it's normal to just cut the weight like uh, seven or eight pounds, not cut too much at, at the place. All right. Well, that sounds good. And, gentlemen, I want to thank you both for the time. And before we wrap it up today, I would like Eduardo to thank teammates and sponsors and fans in Budapest, anybody that he wants to mention right now, he's got the time. Você quer, você quer mencionar os seus patrocinadores, quer mencionar algum fã lá de Budapeste, qual patrocinador que você quer mencionar? Fala qualquer um, meu. Fala qualquer um, por favor. Fala, já tem que fazer uma coisa, né? Fala que essa luta que eu vou fazer em Budapeste, e espero que todos os fãs que vão acompanhar, e desejo que o meu oponente, o Carlos, esteja pronto, I'd like to say to my friends in Budapest, please go to my fight, see my fight, but uh, looking in, and not blind, because if you're blind, for sure, you not see my knockout. All right, yes, look for the knockout from Eduardo Dantes. And gentlemen, obrigado, I really appreciate the time today. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. And Dan, thank you as well. Thanks, Steve.